In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our overview of the new tool available for 365 subscribers called the Video Intro Room. We're working inside the Video Intro Designer, which allows you to modify any of the hundreds of templates now available. And let's continue our look at what you can do. We've covered already working with the duration, changing the background media, doing some trimming, as well as doing some cropping. We we'll also have dealt with dealing with LUTs and adding text yourself. What if you don't want to add text, but simply change text? Let me show you how to do that. All you need to do to change text is click on it, double click on it, and now you'll have an option here. In this case, this is motion graphics text. So what we're going to do is we can change the text here. We can change worth adopting into any life. And we can change the font. We can change other elements related to that. There is some motion graphics editing that you can do, but this gives you one of the ways in which you can do some modest modification if what you click on happens to be motion graphics. Let's uh, go back to something more readable here. So these are the options. This gives you color palette. You can change the color. You can figure the rest of these out if you're familiar with PowerDirector. So that's what that opens up. I'm going to click here. Now you have another option here. Now this is not motion graphics. So when I double click on that, I get a different kind of editor. And I can change the font again. I can change the text color. Uh, I can change the outline, shadow, bold, italic, font size. And of course, I can change the text. And those are some of the options I have with my regular text editing. And as we looked at before, when you're editing text in this particular window, you have three icons below. The first one gives you one for a text backdrop, which is kind of nice. I'm going to click on this one. And then I have another pop-up window, which is my backup window. This will enable the backdrop if I want to. I'll click on that. Now, here's a notice. If you do a backdrop, the starting and ending effects will go away. So you can have one or the other, but not both. I'll say yes. We'll do a solid bar. Uh, we'll change from the normal and make it something brighter. Let's do orange. Click on OK. And there's our See Us Today background. We can change the opacity. I think I'll change it to 100%. And now it's a brighter color. The second one is your in and out animation. Now again, if I click on the in animation or out animation, I'll click on this. When I do the animation, it's going to remove the backdrop. So I can have a backdrop or animation, but not both. If I apply vertical here, I get a reminder. It's going to take your backdrop away. So I'll say no, and we'll forget the animation. And the third option, obviously, is the garbage can. So whether you have regular text, or whether you have motion graphic text, as we clicked on here, or whether you have text that you've ad added yourself, these are the options you have for editing text in the Video Intro Designer. And if it does have an intro and outro, which means it will not have a backdrop, you can edit either of those as well by clicking on the animation button in the middle. So we're not done yet, but we're going to click on the X to, to close out this instruction panel at the bottom. And we've got back to the next level where we want to go. So we've dealt a little bit with text, text that came with the template and text we wanted to add to the template. The next element is simply to add an image. I can click here. And I can import from a hard drive or as a 365 subscriber from Shutterstock or Getty Images. Let's go to the hard drive. That's safer. Click on this icon here. And that imported my image. So I can take this image. I can resize it. I can reposition it. And now I have that available for me. So when it comes to editing an image, we also have several tools at the bottom. We can replace it again. If I don't like it, I can change it to something else. If there's one that came with the template, I can replace it by clicking on the leftmost button. The next is to edit the object settings of my image. 
and I click on here and here's the object settings I have. I have border, I have shadow, I have opacity. So those are the ones available to me for this particular image. Let's just put a border around it. Click here. We'll just make it somewhat smaller and close it out. And so I have a white border around my image. The next one is animation. I can animate the image. We click back on here. We'll have a pop-up screen like the one you see here. And this gives me my in animation and out animation for my particular image. Let's take a brush transition and make that my, in, my intro image and leave it at that. So you can modify the transition on images using the third button from the left. And if you don't like what you've done, you want to throw it away, just click on the garbage can and it's gone. We'll click on the X again on the lower right. And we're almost done. The next one is you can add pip objects in the video intro designer. We'll click on that one. And this will take me to my pip object room. And I can click on any kind of option I want to. Let's take uh, holidays, pick one at random. Let's take this postcard. And in this case, it's going to download the file since I didn't have it in my system. We'll pull it in and it will apply it. And I can resize and reposition this one as well. Now you notice I'm not controlling the layering. If you want to change the layer of some of these, you have to wait till you're done. And then you have to change the way that uh, the different tracks are ordered in your copy of PowerDirector. But here I have my image and we have several options again with that. I can replace it if I want. I can go to the Edit Object Settings on Images on my pip object and again I have opacity, border, and shadow again. I can change the in and out animation or I can delete it. Let's play this and see what we see so far. We have a little motion in our video, we have some other things with our text, and we have some motions on our pip object. So that's what we have so far. The next thing you can do obviously with the music symbols is to change the background music. So if I click on this, it will again give me the option of choosing a different background. Again, I'm limited to the original duration that we looked at in the previous tutorial. I can do a fade in and fade out or neither or both. I can also change the music. Now this is the music that came with a template. If I want to replace it with my own, I can either click here and it will download background music from the cloud, or I can click on the import music file that will import some music. I can take that one there and, it, and I can click on this and now I've got to choose which 10 seconds I want to use as my music. I can play and preview it. And let's say I like that and now that's my new background music. So that's how you change it. Now if you want to go back to the original, the trick is you have to go back to see what it was when you started because here this was what I started with, so that's w what will enable me to go back to the original music that was there before. I click on OK, and now I have the music that came with a template. The last one is just to change the volume. When you're all done editing in the Video Intro Designer, you have several options. You can save the template. So this will allow you to save it as a new one of your own. So I'm going to click on that. We'll just call this Template Test and press OK. So now it saved what I've done. The other one is you can share it. This allows it to go up to the director zone where you can share it. Other people can now have access to it and they can download it and use it as well. The most obvious one is to add it to the timeline. We're going to do that here. And when we click here, now it's added to my timeline. In the next tutorial, I want to show you what to do once you have this video intro in your timeline. One more in this series on the new element for 365 called the Video Intro Room.